morning, it's a deal for Zalhe, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Wednesday, the 14th of March, 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com and uh, certainly be sure to check out trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's bring up the actual European numbers for you today. Uh, let's just uh, look at the stats. Uh, overnight in Asia, certainly uh, uh, an overwhelming uh, negative uh, uh, reaction in terms of uh, US market stalling overnight. We have the uh, Hang Seng down, we have the Nikkei down, and the Shanghai more or less flat. Again, obviously looking looking towards this potential rate hike cycle in the, in the US. Okay, US markets more or less finishing flat overnight. Uh, in terms of European session thus far, you have the FTSE up 14 points, mainly helped by a weaker sterling. Sterling plunging uh, as low as 1.2120 zone, but breaking that key 1.2140 support zone. Okay, so certainly breaking that, certainly being helped by uh, the potential vote as well uh, in the House. Uh, Miss May certainly gets her Brexit and uh, the vote certainly passed. Okay, in terms of without any amendments, uh, just to make note, uh, the Scottish referendum certainly being rejected thus far. Markets totally ignoring it and oblivious to it at present. German DAX down four points, mainly due to the fact that uh, the uh, the concerns over Draghi's uh, hawkish stance or the ECB's hawkish stance again that certainly remains a, a major concern. Inflation data more or less coming in line this morning as well, therefore obviously supporting the uh, inflationary argument. Uh, CAC forty down ten points, obviously due to the uh, potential political uh, uh, uncertainty in France via Le Pen with her gaining ground in the first round and the second round now. And we also have the uh, the actual vote uh, uh, by the Dutch and uh, the uh, the actual um, debate last night from Mr. Wilders, etc. So again, the fanatics and extremists certainly gaining ground in Europe, and that certainly is a uh, is is a negative uh, uh, in terms of same sentiment. Fort Simi buybacks all certainly weaker now in terms of uh, economic data. Uh, we had Chinese data out overnight. Urban investments and industrial production came in slightly better than expected, whilst the uh, re Chinese retail sales number came in worse than expected. It came in at 9.5, expected it was 10.5%. In terms of ZEW as well, for Germany, certainly coming in on the weaker side this morning. ZEW certainly weaker, therefore exerting weaker uh, exerting pressure on the downside. Industrial production out of the eurozone uh, certainly coming in weaker, whilst the ZEW coming in slightly stronger. Okay, we're looking forward to PPI data, inflation data out of the US and uh, Red Book, uh, CB leading econ index, labour market conditions. API data will be very important today as well, given the concerns over oil. Okay, well we'll see whether or not we can uh, actually uh, increase on the build to supply, so we decrease uh, and. Uh, demand obviously regarding that as well okay so that's the status quo now let's look at the actual uh, technical setup now with regards to european indices now the german dax on the daily chart certainly holding that double top pattern so therefore bearish rising contracting wedge pattern 60 minute chart we have this hns formation so be wary of that hns formation in place so certainly uh, take uh, take note of that and watch out for the uh, the actual right shoulder on the german dax given the fact that we have a uh, gap fill at 11.830 below so again bias is risk off okay horizontal resistance in the german dax holding at 12,000. Uh, if you go higher then you have 12.030 coming into play so watch out for resistance above the german dax certainly remaining weak at present in terms of the French CAC now, let's go to the daily chart. The French CAC, you know already that we are into resistance ever since that topping sale. Bearish engulfing candle today after two days of doji. Uh, again, looking at uh, gap fill support for now at 4980. A consolidation within this red candle and obviously looking to potentially thrust lower down to 4840. That's what my aim would be in terms of the uh, the actual French CAC itself. Okay, so watch out for the levels below. If we do frost higher on the French CAC, then you have previous support equals resistance at four at five thousand. The next resistance is seen at around five zero ten and five zero twenty in, in in order to potentially target that four nine forty below. So watch out for those zones below. Okay, FTSE one hundred. Daily chart at the moment, let's just quickly give a, a recap of this. Daily chart at the moment holding that double top resistance at 7980. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment holding resistance in this zone here. So historical resistance is seen at uh, 7380, sorry. 
7380, 7390 and 7395. So they are all your resistance zones on the FTSE 100, 7395, okay? Remaining the pivot high. In terms of the Euro stocks, let's bring up the Euro stocks now, daily chart, the Euro stocks. Ever since that topping tail, we've remained weak. Bias certainly remains bearish, 60 minute chart. Uh, again, a bearish engulfing candle today, consolidating and then obviously looking to thrust lower on the back of a hawkish drag. So just bear that in mind. That's a theme in the background in terms of European equities. OK, a hawkish drag. And obviously the political uncertainty via the Dutch and uh, the French uh, peers. OK, in terms of uh, the 10 minute chart, your previous support equals resistance at 3410. OK, you have resistance at 3412 and then 3418. And at 3420. So they are all the zones that I'll be looking to potentially open up short open up short opportunities, short positions on the European indices. So certainly bias remains weak for European peers. Okay. Right, I think that's a good summation then in terms of the rest of the day, really dictated by weaker German data, weaker industrial production from the EU, certainly risk negative. Obviously, um, weaker retail sales from China, Asian markets more or less lackluster. Fed obviously on the verge of ra raising uh, interest rates, etc. A lot of headwinds for the equity markets to overcome. Hence the reason why the bias, certainly from my perspective, certainly remains bearish. Be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers and certainly download the app. Goodbye now.